See you guys on the flip side. Have I got a ride for you today? I'm in an interesting place. I'm under site three at the bottom of the stack in the intake room. And I wanted to take a minute and show you guys just what's down here because normally you don't get to see this. This is the big intake chamber. It's 25 feet high from the bottom, which is a few feet underwater here, all the way up to the top, way up there. And normally, this entire room would be completely underwater. The actual normal water level, you can see the water line, it's right about there, up there. So we have the intake grates right here. These filter out trash and debris. And then we have the stop log groove. This is where we drop the stop logs in. And we covered that in the video. And they go all the way down underwater there. And then we've just got the center divider pillar, which you can see is tapered. It tapers off to a point, and that's just to help with turbulence. And then everything comes into this big room, and the focus of this room, just like the focus of everything here at the plant, is all about the stack. That's the stack. And the stack is, from bottom to top, the turbine, well, the outflow, the turbine, the intake, the wicket gates, the, the tube. On top of the tube, well, actually, right inside there is the mechanism, and then up on top is the generator, and up on top of that is the safety controls. So that is, that's the bottom of the stack, and normally, you never get to see this because it'd be under 20 feet of water, which is really cool. So let's take a walk around it and get a look at it. You can see all the wicket gates, and everything down here moves. Everything down here is adjustable, which is really neat. We can adjust the angle of the wicket gates. These move like this. So there's the wickets closing. And you can see they, they activate all the way around. And so that's all the water turned off, the wicket's totally closed. We can adjust the angle of the turbine blades, which is what Mr. Frog there is sitting on. Those move like this, and then they spin around, of course. And everything's adjustable. And that way we can operate at maximum efficiency. We can even adjust the amount of water coming into this space, because we have to keep it within about a foot. We've got about a foot, foot and a half of allowed range that we can keep the river outside at. Normally, right now it's turned off, but that's a totally different project. All right, so I want to thank you guys for joining me down here in the basement of a hydroelectric power plant, a place that people normally don't get to go. I'd also like to point out for anybody who wonders my level of dedication to making these videos for you, I can't swim. You guys have fun. I'll see you next time. That was fun.